What up? How are you? Good. How are you guys? Good. Grant, you might ask about Sunday to, to be as involved as you were on special teams to get three tackles. Just how much that part of the game is, is become easier for you as, as the year continues? Yeah. Um, so I actually, myself, I went back and watched a lot of uh, our film to try to figure out, you know, maybe why I was uh, more successful this past Sunday. I mean, I, there's just been a lot of improvement, I think, uh, as a unit, you know, as far as like our fits, the ball placement, but also myself, you know, I've kind of figured out, you know, what tools uh, to develop because, uh, you know, I lack some, but then I have to earn some of these tools. Um, so I think I, I really uh, was was more cog cognitive of that when we were playing Sunday. Grant, you obviously have a lot of confidence in your ability or you wouldn't be at this level, but considering where you were drafted and you're playing regularly for the reigning Super Bowl champion, have you kind of surprised yourself? Um, I don't think so. Um. I don't think so. I mean, I think I came in understanding what role they wanted me to play. And so I knew that for me, it was just on me to uh, figure out how to do it. And once I figured out how, I, I'm pretty confident I could, I could get it done, you know. But uh, yeah, it's been pretty cool, you know. Uh, just now I'm friends with certain people, you know, that I didn't imagine myself being friends with or teammates with. So it's, it's pretty cool, yeah. My, my little brother thinks it's live, so. Yeah. Not too many rookies get their own national commercial. Uh, yeah. what's, what was that experience like and how much of reaction have you gotten from it? Yeah, so I mean, I've gotten a lot of positive, I think, reaction from it. Um, it was a really cool experience, you know, getting behind uh, or in front of a camera, you know, is something that I've done before. I was theater guy, you know, in high school. Uh, so that was exciting. I sent that to my uh, all my theater teachers from from uh, middle school and, and high school and they were they were ecstatic about it. So that's probably the coolest thing is is uh, them seeing that carry over, even though I'm an athlete, you know, so that was pretty cool. Were you able to be part of productions and things like that in high school with your football schedule? I don't know how that. Yeah, out. for sure, for sure. I think uh, going into my senior year, I cooled off a whole lot. Um, but uh, yeah, I was uh, always. I'm mean, actually my freshman year. Um, I was in a play about Helen Keller, and I was her professor. And uh, I actually was in the play, and then had to hurry up, and I still had my makeup on and like my 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 hair gel on or whatever, and I had to go play in the freshman football game. I came in second quarter and scored three touchdowns. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, I had a whole bunch of hair pins in there too. My hair wasn't as long, but yeah, it was did, fun. Did your teammates get angry about it? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, they called me. They, they called them a thespian touchdowns. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it took it took probably. I did a lot of other stuff for social media for them as well. Um, so it took probably seven hours. Wow. Yeah. It was cool though. There was like actual actors and stuff there and I met them and I was like, oh, this is cool. They were like waiting for their time. And they look like football players, yeah. but they're actors. So it was cool. It was uh, in Miami. Yeah. You're nearing a really critical part of the season where it's like every game matters. You guys are, are right now poised to go to the postseason, but you still got to take care of business each week. What's it been like as a first timer being here with this group and, and kind of, you know, you're starting to see the fruits of that labor of like when you're, you know, you constantly chipped away every week and, and you're starting to kind of see the returns on that. Yeah, I mean, I guess for me, like every game is really the same. Um, I think the only thing that has stood out is that like, okay, the season's kind of long. Um, Cause you know, all my friends are like playing PlayStation. They're like, come on, I'm like, well, I got practice tomorrow. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, I guess every every game for me has been uh, the same, and I've really just tried to uh, approach it like that. Um, but now I'm getting more comfortable and been able to like, you know, really look at my opponent and figure out how to attack the opponent versus just worried about my job. Um, so I mean, it's been cool. Do things become a lot more automatic for you guys this time of year, even though you're you're bringing in new people, and, and that definitely can impact special teams. But mm -hmm. you know, guys are getting healthy again, but. But do things start to become more fluid and, and just natural and automatic for everybody since yeah. you've had time? Yeah, absolutely. Time absolutely. It definitely does. I mean, there's certain things that I used to have to really think about doing and now just kind of come naturally. But I think we have to be careful there um, and make sure we're still reiterating the basics. And so, you know, our uh, Keith and Tandy and all them are, are great about uh, coaching that up and keeping us on our toes there. So you mentioned there's guys on this team that you never thought you'd. Uh, be friends with our teammates. With, yeah. Uh, your first experience with Tom Brady, what was that like? Um, I mean, I walked in uh, the equipment room. And I introduced myself. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna introduce myself. And I was like, uh, what's up, Tom? Grant. And uh, he was like, hey, Grant, Tom Brady. And I was like, <laughs> duh, you know, but 
I mean, that was cool. To be honest with you, that's probably the most I've talked to him because <laughs> uh, I try to let him do his deal and uh, just do my role, keep my head down. And then, you know, if something great happens, I'll get excited. And just really just try to stay in my lane, you know. So it's been cool, though. He's been he's been a great leader for us. I, that, I don't want to say I was surprised, but I, um, it definitely stands out how great of a leader he is and how he leads by example as well. So you ever gone up to him? Absolutely. <laughs> Can you feel his – because everybody I talk to, it's like his attention to detail is second to none. Can you feel that trickling out into other areas of the team, like the defense, like special teams, in your meetings? Yeah, well, I, I feel like him as well as uh, a lot of the offensive guys, I mean, they're vets. And, you know, for me, uh, playing scout defense in practice or whatever, like I know there's a standard there, and I don't want to mess up the look for them. And they are very meticulous and very specific. So I make sure that, you know, my role, I'm doing exactly – uh, what the opposing linebackers doing and stuff like that, because I know that it matters a lot to them, you know, because if we mess something up, we'll run it right back, you know, so I don't want to be the reason we're running something back. No way. So, yeah. He's been known in, in previous, you know, and I know he did it in New England, known to chew guys out sometimes in practice. For, yeah. Uh, from, have you experienced that? Yeah, I mean, uh, practice is practice. Um, but, I mean, there's definitely been some times he'll be like, Grant, where are you at? And I'm like, oh, I'm right here, <laughs> you know. Uh, but, no, nah, not really. I think that uh, – I mean, practice is practice that happens every day, to be honest, you know. Right, you said you still got to work to you. You had three tackles in the last game. So, you know, tenacity has always been a big thing for you. I mean, not the biggest thing necessarily the past few chapters, but what is the technique or the things that helped you uh, lead this team? Um, I really think my urgency, um, my urgency and – really like my teammates, like, you know, there's little techniques that we've used as a punt unit or a kickoff unit um, that I think has really helped free other guys up. You know, certain weeks it'll be uh, this guy getting freed up on this scheme. It'll be this guy getting freed up. So I think it's really just about all of us like, hey, when something's set up for you, you have to make the play, you know, and so it just kind of happened for me that way this weekend, I think, or this past weekend. Anything else? Thanks. 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 Thank Appreciate it.